Cryogenic liquids are a specific type of compressed gas with their own set of hazards and precautions. A cryogenic liquid is an extremely cold liquid that at normal temperature would be a gas. Due to their dependence on staying cold, cryogenic liquids may begin to boil violently if stored at room temperature. This puts cryogenic liquids in a category of their own when it comes to compressed gases. With its special properties also come specific hazards. First, direct contact with cryogenic liquids can cause cold burns on the skin and even frostbite. Even touching the cylinders and piping containing these liquids can be dangerous as the coldness of the surface may cause the skin to stick to it, similar to the childhood dare of putting your tongue on a cold metal pole. When cryogenic liquids are transferred to a warmer container, they can boil and splash, increasing the risk for skin exposure. Since they are liquid, cryogens can condense and then refreeze inside openings in the cylinder. When these openings are blocked, pressure can build up causing an explosion. Liquid oxygen is extremely dangerous and can cause combustible substances to ignite and burn more easily or explode. As with other compressed gases, there are certain steps that can be taken to use cryogenic liquids safely. Since the ventilation of cryogenic liquids is important, using ventilation or oxygen sensors and alarms is recommended. These monitors should be checked frequently before and during use. All equipment must be free of grease, oil, dirt, and other materials that are reactive when they come in contact with cryogens like liquid oxygen. Remember that cryogenic liquids can alter the makeup of materials, making them brittle. So you must choose the correct materials for the job. Cryogenic liquids should be stored in a special cylinder called a dewer, which has a vacuum space between the liquid and the outer walls of the container. All dewers must have pressure relief valves and loose fitting lids to prevent pressure buildup. When cryogenic liquids need to be moved, at least two people should transport the cylinder. Don't allow moisture to get inside the container as it may freeze, causing ice blocks in the relief valves. Finally, keep heat sources away from cryogenic liquids. It's also important to protect yourself when handling cryogenic liquids. Appropriate personal protective equipment, or PPE, should be worn at all times. This includes loose-fitting gloves that can easily be thrown off as some liquid is spilled in them. The gloves should be leather or specific to cryogenic work. Rubber gloves must never be used, as rubber hardens when exposed to cryogenic liquids. Face shields and goggles will protect your eyes and face from accidental splashes. They need to fit tightly against the skin to prevent liquid from leaking in should a splash occur. Closed toe leather shoes are the best option when working with cryogenic liquids. Leather naturally repels any spilled liquid, while absorbent materials like sneakers will draw the liquid toward your skin. For this reason, a leather apron should also be worn over clothing. Metal jewelry like rings and watches shouldn't be worn when working with cryogenic liquid. If the skin does come in contact with the cryogenic liquid, run the affected area under room temperature water for 15 minutes. Never use very hot or very cold water. The rewarming of the skin should be done gradually and can take up to 60 minutes. If the area becomes frostbitten, seek medical attention immediately. The best way to prevent injury is to be familiar with using cryogenic liquids and to be careful.